Okay, let's uh, let's roll back. Don't have any more fruit from that, but my HP is up to 70, 76. I'm sorry that I'm I'm taking so slow. I feel like I'm apologizing for a lot today. I guess I am. Um, but I, I'm being much more slow than usual. Slowed? Wow. All right. I guess I'll just switch to the flame pistol for a little while. So there's an upper area here with with weapons, I think. So I gotta figure out how to turn that on. I see. Huh. Uh, but yeah, part of the reason why I'm taking so long is I want to find out all of the um, all of the stuff. You know, there's all these puzzles. Because we have a boost pad here, but how do I get it working? I don't know. Uh, and, like, I would rather take... I'd rather take my time and, like, look around. And figure out exactly how to get uh, everything working. Not to mention, I'm slowly crawling my way back up HP-wise. Alright, so I don't think I'm going to make any progress here. In fact, it looks like those trees have fallen a brock. Brock, block my progress. Okay, so that that little divot. Uh does not trap me. Jerkwads chucking grenades at me through the world. You don't see anything here. Well, I'm back up to full health. That's a plus. Oh, we had some fruit over here. Forget about that. And yeah, this feels totally isolated. Oh. There we go. All right. So we've learned a thing. bunch of things, adrenaline, grenades. So, in this case, I just had to follow the wire. Still don't know how to get that boost pad running, though. But, you know, it's important for me to try and figure these things out, because in the future, now that I know, I'll be able to get into them uh, without, without trouble. I'm gonna blow these things up, but I think, I think they're completely, like, unkillable. Begs the question. Oh. Huh. Okay. Do we have any other of those? No. Maybe I have to destroy those? I might I might just not be able to get this lift working even if I wanted to. No. We That definitely wasn't lit until now. Let's get back down. I bet I just have to I bet I just have to go properly break that. Did he get it? Got it. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. See, that's that's why I, I feel the need to do this, because I, I've i just discovered something. Something new that, uh... Well, loot. Alright, so what do we get this time? Let's see. Fragment for Tesla. Oh. Tesla grenade. Explodes on content. Explodes on contact. 
spawns one arc per enemy in contact zone. So that that's what I was doing. And I think the other one's just a consumable? Very hard to tell. Oh. Nope. Give me a second. There's a gun there. Okay, Tesla drone for Tesla drone. So that's that's just a usable item. Okay, so yeah, now I have Tesla grenades. Which is kind of neat. And looks like we're good to go. So unfortunately, I think I'm just going to have to fling myself off the top, which is damage, but whatever. Anyway, um, oh, thousand, thousand thoughts, and uh, I'm not, I'm not awake or healthy enough to like put them into words. But that there, those secrets are amazing. They're, they're like, I mean, obviously they're not the most complicated things in the world now. Now, whenever I find them, it's going to be super easy to like blow through them. But for me, that's really important. You know, having, having this thing. See, he's not going to explode on me? Okay. Oh. But well, we do have some friends coming from the caves. Okay. Uh, but it's really important to me to have those little details, the the things to explore, to check out, to, to deal with. I, was this an elevator or a bounce pad up here? Well, do we just take it? I mean, at this, at this point, I'm not doing myself any immediate favors by sitting around. We have been on this level for too long. Does he have a snipe rifle? Yeah, I can't I can't shoot this gun into melee. But I can run away. And he's he's gone. Alright, beautiful. Uh but it, it just makes this this world feel that much more like interesting and uh fun to explore. As opposed to Like, I love Binding of Isaac. It is a very fun roguelike. But it doesn't really like it. It never feels like I'm exploring anywhere. Whereas this is probably procedurally generated, but like hard as hell to tell. They did a very good job of stitching things together. We have seen some repetition, and the like little instance dungeons I've definitely seen before. Okay, so we've got. One, two. Doesn't look like we've got anything there. Yeah, if you could jump up these... Wait. Oh, no. That's that's not one of the destroyable containers. Okay. Well, let's head down and around if I can. Okay, storage depot needs, needs transmitters to be broken. I haven't seen a single transmitter though. There's a very real possibility I won't I won't find him this time around. Requires detonator. Okay. That's probably in the uh storage area, maybe. Is this something I can go into? It's like a big red light, and I was like, well, maybe. Okay. Let's keep our eyes peeled. Because yeah. Two transmitters somewhere. They might be up high. I think I hear them up high. Can I go up? I have no idea. It looks like I can maybe get up there.
Loading area, keep clear. Might have missed it. I'm gonna hang out here and watch for a second. We had like a, a laser thing roll by. I can't push a box here. Yeah, we might have just missed our, our opportunity. Because I think we're supposed to take these off. That's the only explanation I can come up with. Okay, are they dead? Very. Yeah, so those drones will just come after me. What? Okay. That AoE fire is a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I see no I see no uh no means of activating this a second time around. Because we had a couple of cargo containers get um, brought up, but then that was the extent of it. Unless it's something like that. No, doesn't look like it. All right, I don't know. Because this is loading area, keep clear. But wait. Were these? These weren't here earlier. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I'm just going to keep progressing. Secrets are important, but uh I've already got some pretty good guns. So it doesn't bug me too much if I don't get all of them. Just a matter of like I want to figure it out so I can just go into it in the future. This feels like a boss arena. That feels like a boss. for burning because I'm maxed on stamina. Okay, life is good. Nothing over there. This stop, stuff will stop burning? Perfect. Is he just dead? Yeah, it looks like it. Do we have anything worth anything over here? Drone LZ. Well, it looks like it's, uh... Oh. Oh, no. That's not a big deal. It doesn't look like we've got anything else here. Alright, awesome. Let's just get out of here. Looks like we do have a weapon crate. And then we can move on to level 3. Oh, it feels nice to actually be able to record without feeling wildly short on breath. Or right, what is this? Oh. Well. Okay. Is the, uh... You have a Sonic Gatling. Well, would you like another? I guess I could actually cycle Sonic Gatlings. But that would, that would be really pointless. I almost never run out of am ammo in a clip. It's just a matter of, uh, is it wise to use this gun? And what I'd like to get is actually probably something close range. The flame pistol's pretty damn good too. It's just scary for me. You have a boost pad there. But I don't see any way of getting it working. I assume that's just reused, you know, kind of like a... There might have been something here, but no. And I've still only found 50% uh, of the secrets. Wow. I did some work to get those. Okay. Dear Diary, rest stop number two. And I'm actually starting to feel a bit optimistic, maybe? It seems dumb, because I'm basically the same in the exact same situation as I was last time. Relocated by a couple of miles, but I'm actually feeling really good. This place has rules, just like everywhere else I've lived, worked, and fought. 
Learn the rules, and eventually you'll start to see how you can take advantage of them. For example, the bugs and the robots seem to hate each other. I totally get that. I'm not a huge fan either. They seem to enjoy fighting each other, so who am I to interrupt them? That said, it does look like I might be leaving the bug territory behind. Up ahead doesn't seem like any more inviting, though. These droids, the, or the core, uh, or corp that built them here, or whoever, must have been building here nonstop for years. The outposts and watchtowers I'd come across. The corp was obviously pretty invested here, but they're nothing, nothing compared to what's coming up. Actual, literal, it's an actual literal fortress. There's no way this is just a mining colony. This is some military-grade construction jutting out of the landscape. They were, they are protecting something in there. Just my luck, the beacon locator is pointing me straight at it. Let's see. Is that a gun? I think that, oh. It was like a gun that just kind of fell by. Okay, so we've got more transmitters to get into this door. Oh, there's one. Do we have any more here? They might be up higher. Oh, there's one. Okay, so that that's busted. Do we have a third somewhere? Oh, you can take this elevator down. Back to kind of sort of the previous level, but not really. Okay, so this is this just is here to make it feel like you've you've been here before. Oh, there's the last transmitter. It's not just here to make it feel like you've been here before, but yeah. Uh, so that's why there was that bounce pad that I could do nothing with, and the invisible wall earlier. Uh, it's, these are contiguous environments, we just kind of have, uh, for the sake of not having this one giant map, uh, it just kind of cuts off after a little while, but so, we literally are in the exact same location that we ended earlier, this is the bounce pad that I tried interacting with. It's just this time, there's actually stuff. Okay, speaking of stuff, what do we got? We've got a fractal death. Okay. Uh, shot splinters, regenerating ammo, low ammo capacity. Oh, it's this thing. Yeah, I'll probably go with it instead of the uh, flame pistol. I like the idea of the flame pistol, but I think the fractal death might be a little bit better. Huh. I can turn off the flashlight. That's neat. I didn't even realize that. Okay. Let's keep going. Yeah, I might just uh, kind of beeline for the end. It's nice looking for loot, but since there's no sense of permanency here, uh, I'm just gonna miss. I'm just gonna use the Sonic Atling. But actually, you know what? Oh, uh, there's no way down, really, is there? I was gonna, I was maybe gonna consider go, going back for the uh, flame pistol, but we are locked in on this path. Well, it's okay, Sonic Atling is uh, stupidly powerful, so I will gladly, I'll gladly just rely on it instead of anything else. Hopefully we get some more interesting uh, enemy types as we go along in this game. Uh, can I, can I not get any of these open? Some weird... Oh, that was worth a lot. Twelve. Let's see. There's some weird hitboxing there on, on the interaction. Not a big deal. Just weird. Just kind of waiting for... I'm not even sure what I'm waiting for. There's like... There's stuff. There's a big floating drone thing. Oh... No? Am I supposed to roll between- I have no idea. Oh, 
almost feels like I'm supposed to roll onto the top of one of those and take it on a trip. Maybe? Hard to say, because there's an area there, like, over on the right. That might actually be the case. I, I don't know. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna... I'm just gonna make it as far as I can at this point. We'll get more weapon crates just by finishing things anyways. I'm getting a little fatigued here, and it's also one of those where... Waiting for those to pop open. Okay, so we've got a boss up ahead somewhere. I'm so glad this thing has an AoE. Let's see. So is, is level 3 just uh, a big old boss fight? Because the level design has definitely, uh... Oh, you know what? They did... The the log did say it was, it was a fortress. So I wouldn't be surprised if that wasn't exactly it. A lot of enemies around here. I'll just pelt them down. Luckily, they drop almost as many, uh... Pickups as I, I need here much of a reason to explore this. I've got to just progress a little bit further. Because, yeah, otherwise it's just kind of these, like, little nibs with nothing on them. Okay, so I can explore here at least a little bit. Cargo containers. Stuff. Yeah, if I can replace the fractal gun. I like the idea of the fractal gun. It's just, uh, it's hard to hit with. And it doesn't do quite as much as I'd like. Okay, there's something there. But I can't, I can't see it. And I don't entirely trust it. Silly robot. <laughs> you don't ambush me. That's not how this works. I mean, you can try, but I've got a... I've got, like, a rocket-propelled grenade launcher thing. Wait, what? That, that one was just empty. Ah. Huh. Access prohibited. Oh. Ah. Where is a card? Do we kill the boss first? Sure, why not? And if killing the boss doesn't work, then we've got the other side too. Oh. Ow? I think something's shooting. Ow. What? Oh. Oh. What is this? Okay, this doesn't look like anything. But there's a drop down point here. To get me here. Oh. Oh, we're just we're just back here. Okay. Damn it. Okay, so I can I can get some health back at least for coming through here. I'd like to get whatever this item is, but the pathing and the the camera issues 
pretty much don't let me do that. Okay, let's let's go the other way first. Nope, there's nothing over here. Okay. Uh yeah. Maybe the key card's this way. I said I was gonna beeline for stuff, but my my inexhaustible curiosity for uh for secrets and power ups it's kinda working against me here. Real hard. It's okay, I mean it doesn't take too long. And also if you just skip past why did I do that to myself? If you just skip past everything in the game, why even play the game? I mean I guess speed running. I'm not a speedrunner. Mostly my goal in life on this channel is to, you know, get a decent amount of enjoyment out of games. 75%. I'm the... I'm not the completionist. What would be... I mean, I guess the finishist would be the... Uh, would be the approximate title for what I am. Of course, I'm not entirely sure uh, Gerard would would care much for uh, somebody moving in. I think that actually was a, was one of his jokes. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, let me guess. Oh no, that one's active. But we might need a oh jeez, that's big. Come on. I'm killing myself. Yeah, both of these guns. I gotta... Okay, he's he's dead. I'm killing myself. Both of these guns have uh, substantial amounts of... It's not kickback. What's this? Congratulations on... Purchasing your new Prism Mining Laser, a fully automated platform for planetside excavation and resource gathering. Upon receipt of this mining laser, you will be required to designate the intended excavation area for the laser to operate within. Once, uh, let's see, once this is confirmed, the laser will begin automatically operating inside the indicated area until told to either stop or move to a new location. It's highly recommended that this laser is only used in an uninhabited or evacuated area. As biological contact with the primary beam can lead to unintended instances of instant death. For troubleshooting or more information, please consult the quick start document that was included with your initial shipment. Okay, well it's good to know these things aren't here purely to mess with me. Because they're making the most of things while they're here. Plus, strip mining a planet as a side project is a total corp move. I should suggest it to Shuri Teku. Might get a finder's fee. Okay, so we've... Taking some kicks. You'll, might be able to get some HP back from this, though. Okay. Woo. Okay, and didn't take damage there. Gotta be kind of careful. Let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, we're still we're still kind of in the same general zone. Okay. That worked out well for me. Uh I think yeah, I haven't taken any damage yet. Oh, so the entire reason to come down here. It was just a... Hi. Okay. Scary stuff. These guys do stupid amounts of damage. Uh, and I do almost... Equal amounts to myself. Just for being here. Uh, can I get some health, please? This Tesla injector might be worth it. Um, 
mit 21 Edit. It was really... I thought the bolo was supposed to incapacitate them. I... I guess wrong. Alright, whatever. We have learned. So we've got... we got some things. So fortified DNA, absolutely worthwhile. Plonk that on. Volatile and base. I think... I, I'm just gonna put these on. I haven't shown what they do yet. So volatile, health resist, luck, resist, health, luck. I mean, ultimately, what I want to do is pump health and resist if I can. I like the idea of the volatile DNA because that's where you get the the benefits. Well, let's go this one. one. Luck's looking pretty good. Speed, not so much, though. Let's see. Crit chance is kind of helpful. My health at 101. So I could get a little bit of speed. And then lose a little bit of crit chance here for more resist. I'm not entirely sure if this helps. Anyway, so here's the cool thing. Admittedly, it's not going to help us here. I'm fairly certain I'm going to lose all of this, which sucks. Uh, but I can show it off anyway. So dodge roll is replaced with burrow strike. Uh, let's see. I can hack keypads at the cost of 20 health. Chance for melee attack to shock enemies. Yeah. And, ah, brittle bones. Chance to stun yourself on dodge. Okay, that sucks. I need to replace that. Thing is, though, I don't think this saves. Which is the unfortunate part. If it does, awesome. Uh, but I don't have enough time for another run. They get kind of long. Ugh. And so what we're gonna what we're gonna do is I'm just I'm gonna show off what the uh Burrow Strike does. But so all of those DNA fragments that we've got. Oh yeah, this is what the main character kinda looks like. Really, we've got weird horns going on. Uh Oh, and my feet are horror. <laughs> okay, I gotta go find an enemy. Ow, 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 ow. Let's see, we've already done that. I gotta go to find an enemy that I can hit with this, because this is, this is interesting. This is quite possibly uh, my other favorite part of the game. And it sucks that I can't show it off. Okay, so that... Maybe I have to do, like, a melee attack or something. I'm... I'm not so sure about the burrow strike, to be totally honest. Well, that's okay. I uh, see. But, yeah, this is one of my favorite parts about this game, which is specifically, like, every run you get these weird power-ups and stat changes. And I believe the farther you get, the uh, the better the DNA you can sequence in. And uh, the DNA you rolled with, I'm just gonna let them kill me, uh, the DNA you got previously, I believe you can just keep. You don't get to keep all of it. But so eventually, you will be substantially stronger as a result of these upgrades. Yeah, so I didn't find anything. Unfortunately, I can't get rid of this. Uh. Oh, I see. So I can get rid of this one, because there wasn't anything, but we can sequence our genome. And there's a chance that this one will actually have a mutate mutation. There it is. Tungsten sheath. Extra armor against all damage types. Cool. Uh, and I don't know if it's locked in as a result of that mutation, or if I can replace it. I don't know. Um... But still, that's this is one of my favorite parts of the game. And it's a shame because it's not going to carry over yet. Uh, this will be, hopefully, hopefully they add saving soon. Because I really, I really want to actually start, uh, you know, farming mutations and making a really interesting character. But I guess I can't do that now. Oh well.